This is 7 News at 4.30. First at 4.30, another loss at Miami Seaquarium. Hello again, everybody. A Dolphins' decades-long performances coming to an end. That's right. 7's Maricela Burgos is live on Virginia Key with the story. Maricela. And we know that park officials did announce on Wednesday that Sundance, the dolphin, has passed away, and PETA is now calling for more action. Similar calls that we have heard from them for years now. So according to park officials, Sundance passed away after, quote, precursors of illness. The dolphin spent decades at the Seaquarium. You may remember Sundance from an incident at the park that got national attention. There was an investigation after Sundance attacked a trainer. According to the Seaquarium, uh, the trainer had accidentally scratched Sundance with her hand, causing him to break away from the routine. As many of you know, Miami Seaquarium has been under a microscope for years. Over the summer, Lolita, the beloved killer whale, died after spending decades in captivity and just before the Aquarium's plans to move her to a sanctuary. And you also may remember that earlier this month, three manatees had to be moved to critical care centers after there were concerns that included their health. PETA officials are calling for immediate changes. As I mentioned, they say enough is enough. The Superium has proved time and again that it's unable or unwilling to comply with even the minimum standards of the Federal Animal Welfare Act as it imprisons animals in tiny, dilapidated um, concrete tanks and sometimes even starves them to force them to perform tricks for food. So it's time for this hellish facility to be shut down and for the animals to be sent to sanctuary where they can finally live in peace. And PETA officials do have an online petition asking again for the county sh to shut down Miami Sea Aquarium. Right now, they have more than 36,000 signatures. Live in Virginia Key, Maricela Burgos, 7 News.